All right, let's see. We're going to roll for Weiss. And that's a 6 and an 11. And that's a fly ball right field X. The right fielder is Lee. And he's a 3. And we rolled a 5. And that's going to be a ball he catches up to. So that will end the inning. Weiss flies out. So one run on one hit. And we move to the bottom of the inning. And I made a couple of... I, these were mistakes. So uh, let's, let me go over the lineups real quick. It's A.G. Harrelson Foy for New York. It's New York at St. Louis. This is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. We're playing 1970 Stratomatic. Not available in stores. A.G. Harrelson Foy, Jones, Clendenin, Swoboda, Grody, Weiss, and Seaver. For the Cardinals, it's Brock, Cardinal, and Allen, Torrey, Laurent Lee, Haig, Javier, Maxville, and Carlton. So it should be a good game. Had to uh, use a nameless player card for Weiss. So here's Do Joe Torrey going to lead off the inning. 1 nothing Mets, a home run by Clendenin. Remember, there's no second side to these cards. So it's 4 and a 4, and that's going to be a strikeout. And Seaver had almost 300 strikeouts. Picks up another one here, strikes out Joe Torrey. Here's Leron Lee, or Leron Lee. And that's a 5 and an 8, and that will be a ground ball shortstop X. He's a 2 shortstop. And it's a 15 and 2 shortstop. 15 is in out. So Harrelson makes the play. 6-3. Now Seaver's looking at Joe Haig. I need to roll that. It's a 1 and a 5, and that's a ground ball and through into center field. First hit for the Cardinals, and here's Javier with a 2 and a 6, and that's going to be a ground ball to short. He'll flip to the second baseman, that retires the side. So no runs, one hit, we go to the top of the third. one nothing Mets on the home run by Clint Dennett. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Remember to subscribe and like my content. And it's a 5 and a 7. So that's going to be off Carlton, and a 7 is going to be a strikeout. So he strikes out Seaver. Go to the top of the order now. It's going to be Tommy Agee leading off. That's a 1 and a 7, and that is a splits. 1 to 10 single. We got an 18. So it's a 7, 1 to 10, no, 1 to 10 double, 11 to 20 single. So it's a base hit single. So he rips one to left center field, and he's on it first. Here comes Buddy Harrelson. So Javier hit into a fielder's choice, 6-4. Then it was a K for Seaver and a single. And here comes Harrelson with a 5 and an 8, and that'll be a strikeout. So Harrelson swings and misses at a high fastball from Carlton. That's Carlton's fourth strikeout of the game. A 6 and a 5, and that'll be a, oh, against Carlton. That's his hit numbers. A 6 and a 5 is going to be splits 1-4. Triple and 5 to 20 double. Yikes. Should be a double, I expect. And it is. And that may, that double is a blank, so we can probably score. And it's to the center fielder. Center fielder. I don't know what they were doing back then. I don't know. They have arm ratings. Center fielder's card now. So we're just using the run rating back then. So the run rating is going to be for Harrelson's a 1 to 16. So we roll a 1 to 16. He is safe, and he is. So the score's on the double, a Foy double. And the score now is 2 nothing Mets. Pretty simple. The game was very simple back then. Now you got to subtract and add and add and subtract. The RBI, two out, two out RBI, double for Foy. And here's Jones with a three and an eight, and that'll be a strikeout, and he goes down. 
swinging for one run on two hits and the Mets lead it 2 nothing. We go to the bottom of the third. It's going to be Dow Maxville against Terrific. And it's a three and a six and that's going to be a base on balls. So first walk allowed by Seaver. Jones struck out. And here's the pitcher. He will bunt. And that is a three bunt. And that's batter beats out bunt. Runners advance on base. Oh no. That is a three. Okay. So it's a bunt single for. And that's what they tell you to do. Hit them where they ain't. And he bunts it where they ain't. And he gets on base. So first and second. And Lou Brock is going to bunt. That's going to be a seven. And a seven is better thrown out by first baseman runners advance. So I guess it'll be three to four. So it's a walk, a single, and then a sacrifice. And uh, second and third now against Cardin uh, against Seaver. And then it's Jose Cardinal coming up. I'm going to play the infield back. We're going to allow a run to score. It's a six and a five. That'll be a strikeout. So a big K for Seaver, his second K of the game. And here's Richie Allen. Richie Allen batted uh, 279 with 34 home runs. So he's got some good power numbers. Here's the pitch. Seaver better watch out. That's a two and a 12. And that's a fly ball deep right field. Back goes Swoboda to the track and makes the catch. So no runs, one hit, two left, and we go to the top of the fourth. A deep fly ball for Allen. And here is Don Clendenin against Steve Carlton. And that is a four and an eight. And that's a, a single, one, two, single, line out otherwise. Line out to the first, and that'll be a line out to first. So he rips it to the opposite side. And right there is Allen. Here's Sabota with a four and a nine. That's bounced to second base. Easy play for Javier. Two out. Let's do an L3 and a 4-3 for Sabota. And it's Jerry Grody now. It's a two and an eight. And that's bounced to third. Charging hard is Allen. And he bobbles it, but he still fires the first and just gets Grody. So it's going to be a 5-3 to end the inning. Three up, three down for Carlton in that inning. Sloppy play by the third baseman, Allen, but he's not known as a defensive player. Here's Joe Torre, pitch from Seaver. That's a 2 and a 10, and that's bounced to third. And a strong throw by Foy. Gets Torre with plenty of time. Torre does not run particularly well. One out here in the bottom of the fourth. Two nothing Mets. Lee with a one and a five, and that's a strikeout. So Seaver with his third strikeout of the game. Joe Haig with two outs and a six and a six, and he strikes him out. And that is number four for Seaver. Three up, three down. So probably two of the best pitchers in 1970. Carlton with a with a 372 ERA, but. Um, but he wasn't as good as, he wasn't there yet. He wasn't in the Seaver level yet. Seaver was pitching at a 281 ERA. Here's Al Weiss. And that's a 5 and a 7, and that'll be a strikeout. Another strikeout for Carlton, who had uh, 200 strikeouts in 250 innings. Here's a pitcher, Seaver. With a four, that'll be off of, and that's a base on ball. So Carlton walks Seaver. And here comes the top of the order for the Mets, starting off with Tommy Agee. So you got a strikeout. Torrey, what would Torrey do? Oh, 5-3. Uh, I forgot to do the 5-3, a K, and a K, and then it was a K and a walk. And now you got Tommy Agee coming up. That's righty. It's a pitch, and that's a one and a three, and that's a ground ball third baseman, Ave. To second for one, back to first, double play, five, four, three, and that retires the side. A 
And all right, Javier leading off against Seaver in the bottom of the fifth. And that's a one and an eight. That's line and caught by Harrelson. Leaps and brings it down. A little white at the end of the glove there, but he held on to it. Here's Maxville. And that's a three and a nine, and that'll be a strikeout on Maxville. So you get strikeouts on the pitcher cart and on the batter cart. Here's Carlton, which will be off Seaver and an eight, and that's a ground ball shortstop X. He's a two, and we got a five, and that'll be an out. And that's a play that Harrelson makes easily, and that retires his side. Three up, three down for Terrific. Go to the top of the sixth now. Buddy Harrelson's up next. That's a two and a seven. Bounce to third. Easy play for Allen, and he throws out Harrelson. That's a five three. Next is Foy with a two and an eleven, and that's a ground ball to shortstop. Maxville scoops it up and lets it fly. Two down. And up comes Cleon Jones, probably the Mets' best hitter with a 1-6, and that's going to be a base on balls. Carlton walks him. Jones is on at first. Not really a great base dealer. Here comes our power hitting friend Don Clendenin, who has a solo shot in the second inning. Here's a pitch. And that's a 2 and a 2, and that's a ground ball to third. Fielder's choice at second to end the inning. No runs, no hits, one left, the walk, and we go to the bottom of the sixth. Lou Brock is going to lead it off in the bottom of the sixth. Oh, that's a foul ball. Foul straight back. And that's a six and a four, and that's a one to ten home run. He hit home runs. He had 13 home runs that season. So it's a 1 to 10 home run. Otherwise, it's a double. And that ball is a deep drive. Back goes the center fielder, AG, and it's off the wall. And into second base, cruising into second base, is Brock with a leadoff double here in the bottom of the sixth inning. So he drove it, and it looked like it was going to be out, but no. The wind must have held it in. Here's Jose Cardinal with a 5 and an 8. And a 5 and an 8 is a ground ball shortstop. Shortstop is a 2, and that's an 11. And that'll be a good play. 3, I think runner advances on the 3. Runner, one second. Other runners advance. Okay, so runner will advance on that. And here's Allen is next. The uh, Mets will play the infield back. They're up two to nothing. And that's uh, why am I throwing that? Hold on a second. And that's a four and a ten, and that's going to be a strikeout. So he strikes out Allen. Seaver coming up big when he needs it. Clutch. And Joe Torrey with a six and a seven, and struck him out. And that retires the side. Seaver with his. Five, six, seven strike out of the night. Go to the top of the seventh now. The score is two nothing. Mets. And it's Ron Svoboda leading off with a four and a seven, and that'll be a ground ball and through into center field. So Svoboda muscles one through the infield, just out of the reach of the shortstop Maxville, who has covers a lot of ground, has great range. Gonna get Grody. He's gonna bunt, and it's an 11. And an 11 is gonna be batter pops up to third base to the first baseman. So pop three fails to bunt. And next is Al Weiss. Pitch. That's a four and a six. A four and a six is gonna be a ground ball. Second baseman X. And second baseman is a, is a two, and a six will be a. Field is choice, I believe. It says runner on first is out. Okay, so it's going to be 
four to four to six fielder's choice for Weiss is on. And that brings up terrific. Pitch from the lefty Carlton. It's a six and a four, and that's gonna be a home run, one to seven for Tom Terrific. And I don't know that Tom Terrific hit any home runs in that season. So he's like going to be like a, well, he could hit a home run. He hit home runs in his, so let's see. This is going to be a home run pitch. It's going to be a six and a four. One to 17 is a home run. And Seaver's going to hit a home run right here. And he does. That ball is a two-run shot for Tom Terrific. We're going to let him have it. And um, that's two RBIs, eight and nine. And the Mets lead it now. Four to nothing. Two run homer by the pitcher Tom Terrific. And it's the top of the order. All right. Harrelson with a four and a ten, and that's going to be catcher X. Catcher is a three. And that's a three. Three and a three is a pop up. Pop two, and that will retire the side. All right, we go to the bottom of the seventh. Where's AG's card? Wait a second. Point. That should be AG's card. Doesn't matter because it was off the pitcher's card. What happened to AG? What did I do with him? Oh, here he is. How did he get in here? That's weird. Went to the wrong dugout. All right. So, uh, two runs on two hits. The big hit being the homer by. Terrific. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. Seaver's pitching another gem, a six and a nine. That'll be a strikeout. Strikeout number eight for Seaver. Next is Joe Haig with a three and a nine, and that'll be a base on balls. It's a second walk by Seaver in this game. Javier with a six and an eight, and he struck him out. Number nine. Seaver's lights out, man. He's lights out. Maxville. It's a three and a five, and that's a one to nine single. Otherwise, it's lined and caught by the second baseman. Ripped, and right there is Weiss. Oh, four. And we're going to top of the eighth inning. All right, Harrelson leading it off. No runs, no hits, a walk, one left in that bottom of seven, top of the eighth, Harrelson with a three and an eight, and that's a little check swing blooper, Texas Liga that drops in for a single. That's a line drive of the box score. Here's Joe Foy, and we're going to bunt with a six, probably a good bunt, and batter's thrown out by third baseman. So it's a good bunt, sack, five, four, runner to second. And here's Cleon Jones with a 3 and an 11, and that's going to be a base on balls. So let's see. Oh, Carlton, there's no there's no uh, point of uh, weakness on these cards. So it's just me having to decide. I usually let them go 36 if they're a guy that does, like, heavy innings, and he's pretty heavy, so he can go 36. So uh, that's going to be a walk. To Jones, and that brings up Clendenin. Clendenin's always already taken Carlton out of the park in the second inning. Let's see what happens here. And that's going to be a four and a three, it looks like. A four and a three. Struck him out. Big K for Carlton. The curveball. Big curveball gets Clendenin out in front. And here's Ryan Sobota with two outs and two on. Here's a pitch, and that's a four and a six, and that'll be a ground ball. Second baseman X. 
He's a two, and that's a three, and that's going to be a two and a three. And that's going to be an out. All he dies for, gets back up on his feet, throws out Svoboda, and that retires the side for the bottom of the eighth. And uh, we're going to have to have a pinch hitter. Cardinals. Uh, who are they going to bring? Who are they going to have to pinch hit? Going to bring Carl Taylor to pinch hit. He should be on the on the list in the on the uh, on the bench. Let's see. Let's make sure there he is. I don't think I have Big Davalio. He may be somewhere, but just not on this team right now. Let's see. Remember, you, you only back then you only got 20 cards, so I don't have the extra players. I am out, out on the lookout for the extra players. If anybody has them, I'll take them, take scans or whatever. Doesn't matter as long as I can play some games. All right, here's Carl Taylor. Carlton's out. Here's a pitch from Seaver, and that's going to be a one and a nine, and that is a one to three triple. Otherwise, it's a double, and that's going to be. Oh, uh, in the gap, it's going to split the outfield and roll to the wall and into second base with a leadoff double is Taylor. Carl Taylor. Pinch hit double, and Lou Brock is up. And that is a four and an eight. A four and an eight is going to be a base on balls. Some movement in the Mets dugout now. I'm sorry, in the Mets bullpen now. So first and second, nobody out. Here in the bottom of the eighth. So uh, Grody's going to go out and talk to Seaver, settle him down a little bit. Here's a pitch to the next batter card now. A six and a six. Struck him out. So the talk with Seaver worked out. That's Seaver's 10th strikeout. I don't know what Grody said to him, but uh, it worked. Here's Richie Allen. Richie Allen with good power. That's a two. And a, an eight is going to be a strikeout. Swinging for the fences and misses. So back to back K's after the first two batters got on base. And here's Joe Torre. Pitch from Seaver. It's going to be a three and an eight. And that's going to be a base hit single. Uh, we're going to hold up here because we are we are down. So the bases are going to be loaded. It's four nothing right now. We're terrific. And here's a look. Leron Lee, here's a pitch from Seaver, and that is a two and a 60, and a 12 is gonna be, struck him out. Number 12 for Terrific. Wow. So no runs, no runs on two hits. And we move to the top of the ninth. All right, here's Jerry Grody leading off. We're gonna have a new pitcher. And it's gonna, who's it gonna be? It's gonna be the other Taylor. So there's two, there's two Taylors. One is Chuck Taylor, pitcher, and one is Carl Taylor, the batter. Fascinating. All right, Taylor's in there. And here's a pitch to Grody. That's a two and a five, and that'll be a ground ball. Charging it is Maxfield, throws on the run and gets Grody, who does not run well. Slow roller to the shortstop. Here's Weiss. Weiss today is 0 for 3. Should be 0 for 4 in a second. That's a 6 and a 6, and he strikes out. <coughs> Excuse me. And now it's Seaver. I'm going to let him try to finish this game, a complete game. That's a three and a, and a, looks like a three and a seven, and that'll be a one to eight single. So can Seaver get a single here? No, he does not. It's lined and caught by Maxville to retire the side. And it's the bottom of the ninth. It's going to be Haig, Javier, and Maxville. Let's see if Seaver can complete this game. Complete game shutout. Five hitter. Let's see. That's going to be a five and a three, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop X. And shortstop, that'll it'll be a ball that he'll get to a 219. And no, he bobbles it, and everybody is safe. So he boots the he boots the ground ball, and that's going to put Lee on a first base, E6. Ouch. 
So Haig is on at first. Here's Javier with a four and a six, and that's going to be a drive, maybe a single or a double, and it's going to be a base hit single. Runner will go to third. So you got first and third now. So runs are coming in. So C Rao, I don't think he's going to be able to hold on to that shutout. We're playing for the double play. We're back. Here's Maxville, unless he strikes out the side. A six and a ten. Struck him out. <laughs> That's number 13 for Seaver. We're going to get a pinch hitter now. Hilarious. Uh, I don't know who else I got on the bench. Let's see. Pitching card, pitching card. Pitching card, pitching card, pitching card. Pitching card. Milt Ramirez is going to pinch hit. Because I have him on my bench. Milt Ramirez. I also have Ed Crosby. And I have one other guy. I have like a four-man bench. Ted Simmons. But I, don't know, I didn't see Ted Simmons there. I don't know if he's here yet. All right, here's a pitch to Ramirez, and that's going to be a 3 and an 11. And that'll be a pop-up in the infield. And that's Harrelson calling for it. Two away. So Sears one out away from completing the shutout. And here's the top of the order, Lou Brock. Lou Brock batted uh, 304. So he can hit. So it's Sieber against Brock. Two outs, bottom of the ninth, 4 nothing Mets. And this is... The moment of truth. That's a three and a seven, and that's going to be struck him out. Ball game's over. Number 14 for Tom Terrific. Strikes out 14, shuts out the Cardinals. And that's it. Tom Terrific 2 0. Oh. Carlton takes the loss. Terrific is the MVP. The Mets improve their record to 4-1. St. Louis falls to 2-3. Let's look at... Oh, you can't see the uh, the box score, but I'll tell you. It's Mets 4 runs, 6 hits, and 1 error. St. Louis no runs, 6 hits, and no errors. And for the Mets, really, everybody had one hit. The Clendenin had the big home run. Um, RBIs, 2 for Tom Terrific on a 2-run home run. So 2 home runs for the Mets. I gave Seaver a home run um, because this is the 1970 cards. They don't even have the, the WN on them. And I believe Seaver, well, Seaver had the potential to hit home runs. He's hit home runs. So uh, I, I just didn't know if he hit one in 1970. I didn't bother to look. It wasn't that important. And it was still a shutout anyway. So for the Cardinals, they only had uh, six hits. And uh, Seaver struck out LeRon Lee three times. He struck out another four Cardinals two times each. And um, and that was it. He, he walked three, struck out 14. So he, he was on his game for sure. Carlton uh, pitched okay, um, but uh, could not hang with Seaver today, that's for sure. Could not hang with Seaver. And that's it. This is Tony Porter, Cars and Dice TV. Uh, remember to join Universal Baseball Association Facebook group. And um, I will see you guys soon. Take care.